Hey, this is DavidB69. We are a quarter done the season here in Madden 2005, and we're having a really rough go of it. Um, losing the last two games, 17 to 6 each time. Um, we gotta play better, and we're going up against the Panthers, um, which might not be an easy task. Um, they're able to score points. You can see their offense is like a lot better. It's, there's just a lot of things here. Um, and you can see our turnover ranking is not good either. So we got to play better. Um, and hopefully we can show, show what we got here today. So let's get into it. A full house today at Lincoln Financial Field. Welcome to this matchup between two teams from the NFC as Philadelphia squares off against Carolina. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Madden. Boy, you talk about a quarterback who can light up the scoreboard. This guy can do it all. And the scary thing is, he's getting better with each game. I think some of that has to do with his receivers because he's got some good ones to throw to. T.O. will be his go-to guy once again and for obvious reasons. He's one of the better route runners and always seems to make the catch in traffic. Stopping this combo hasn't been easy for many defenses, so we'll have to see what type of coverages they go with to prevent these two from doing a lot of damage. Now this is what you call excitement. Look at those guys down there. They can't even stand still. And the captains are out there ready for the coin toss. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. The Eagles are lined up for the kickoff. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. From the 18. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. First and ten. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. They give it to the halfback. Stop behind the line. Lost the couple. Davis wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week, day and off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. The Eagles come out in a dime package. Pressure, throws it, incomplete. The quarterback getting up a little slowly after that play. Yeah, he had a big arm come in right there at the last second. John, for people who love defensive struggles, this game is exactly what they're looking for. Two of the best in the league out on the field today. These are two of the most talented defenses in the league. Not only can these guys stop you from scoring, they can create scoring by themselves. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't be surprised if this game turns on a big defensive play that generates points, like an interception return or a fumble recovery, something like that. Delone got the coverage he was looking for, but a great defensive effort forces the incomplete pass. Sauerbrunn comes into the game for the punt. Westbrook into return. Here's the kick. From the 29-yard line. Watch this hit. He gets his helmet right under his chin and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. Passing on first down. He surveys the field, rolling out to his right. Looks like he might have had another option out there, John. But he never saw him. He has to make better reads out there. Base, base. The 
Panthers come out in a nickel package. Surveying the field. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. McNabb found the single coverage he wanted. He just couldn't get it in there. The Panthers come out in a dime package. Looking downfield, gets the pass off. It was tipped. He's having a tough time getting anything going on this run. You have to give credit to the defense out there. Those last few times he dropped back to throw, he didn't look comfortable. And that's because they did a good job confusing him with their schemes and their coverages. Here's the punt. The officials are trying to determine where it went out of bounds. First and ten. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. Aids it off. Semino with the tackle at the 29-yard line. Gain of six on the play. Five yards to go. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. He gets the carry. Breaking free. Breaks free. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use it. Boom. Yeah, but that's worse than a boom. That kind of hit could loosen your teeth. Gain of four. About a yard to go. The Eagles come out with eight guys in the box. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle. Great play in the backfield. So they'll line up the punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. From the 30. And the offense getting ready to come back on the field after a decent return. It's first and ten. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Pass play here on first down. Incomplete. He had a guy hanging all over him as he released it. Grading pressure can really change the way an offense operates. They need to keep some extra blockers in, either a tight end on the line or a back that can help them out with their protection. The Panthers come out in a nickel package. Drops back. Looking for an option. Rolls right. On the move. And. And he lets it slip out of his grasp. So following the incompletion, it's now third down. McNabb with split backs. Surveying the field. Rolling out to his right. On the run. This one falls incomplete. He's out of rhythm on this drive. Can't seem to get it going. I'll tell you, they're giving a lot of different looks on this drive. And the quarterback's having a tough time adjusting on those last few passes. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the kick. Fair catch. First and ten. Lucy, Lucy. Get up, get up. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. Receives the handle. Missed it. And he just got level. Yeah, you know that whole deal about what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, the unstoppable force won that one. 
Davis, the deep man. Smith goes in motion. Tucks it away. Lewis makes the stop at the 48-yard line. Eight-yard gain. Third down and short. Eight defenders in the box on this one. Going to the left. Puts it on the ground. The fumble is scooped up. The 40. A lot of space in front of him. The 30. The 20. The 10. The defense comes up with a fumble and a touchdown. So the turnover leads to a score. The only thing worse than a turnover is a turnover that leads to a touchdown. The lineup for the extra point. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. The Eagles are ready to kick this one off. And it's a short kickoff. From the 26. Carolina losing by seven. Who heads back out? So they have first and ten here. Dimebacks in for this play. Pro in motion. Pass play here on first down. Fires this one out quickly. Drops the interception. Semino had his hands on him. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. They go with a draw. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Very little blocking to work with on that play. Yeah, that's just great play from the defense. They play with great leverage up front and always seem to get penetration. When you have defenders in the backfield, it makes it very difficult to run or pass. The Eagles come out in a nickel package, looking long down the right side of the field. Catch, dives, and makes the tackle. What a beautiful touch pass down the field to move the chains. You know, this guy can really get out there and run past the secondary. He's got a gear that most other guys just don't have. So they're inside the 20, need to get a touchdown. Going to the air on first down. With the pass, he's inside the 10. Diving tackle at the five-yard line. They throw it and pick up a second consecutive first down. Well, when you start to establish something, you want to keep it going until the defense finds a way to stop you. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Crosses it left. Davis is in there for the touchdown. And so he takes it the rest of the way for the touchdown. The offense has been knocking on the door, and now they just kicked it down. The lineup for the extra point. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. The Panthers draw even. A good-looking drive, and they score the touchdown. The offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. Yeah, they were able to get some other players involved. Anytime you can accomplish that, it gets your whole team excited. From the 10-yard line, the Eagles will start this drive from the 25-yard line. First and 10. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Surveying the field. Trying to buy some time. Linderspoon takes him down at the 26-yard line. Nothing open downfield, so he pulled it down. Picked up a couple. He tucked it, but he couldn't find any room to run. Nine yards to go. Good play, good play. 
The Panthers come out on a nickel back with the pass. Ooh, nearly picked off. Almost a big turnover. The quarterback has all the tools you look for. He just needs to be a little more patient out there. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Looking downfield, doesn't get much behind it. The pass throws incomplete. John is able to tip it away again. On every pass, there's a window you try to throw the ball through. And right now, the defense is just shutting the window. Smith looks like he's ready for the return. Here's the punt. From the 38-yard line. He picks up a few yards on the return. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and we're all tied up. The teams ask which sides, and we'll strike the second quarter. So we have first and ten here. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. Davis. Wayne brings him down at the 47. Good solid run there. That's exactly what they will be looking for all day long on the ground. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. And you know that's the kind of production that every coach is looking for. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner is stuck. As soon as he got the ball, there was a defender in his face to knock him down. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Third down conversions is a keeper stat. When you convert on third down, you keep three things. You keep your drive going, you keep their defense on the field, and you keep your defense resting on the sideline. Smith made the catch, but was unable to get the first down. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Here's the kick. Now this is a big time play by the special team. Hunter does his job and he puts it where the returner can't catch it. And the coverage team does their job by getting into position to knock it back into the field and pin him inside the 10. Passing on first down. He surveys the field, buying time, room to run. Solid hit, just crunched him. And the thing is, when you get hit like that, it's like having a bumblebee in your helmet. You just can't get rid of it. Here's what happened. You get a guy who can move around back there, the defense gets busy covering everyone, and they forget about the quarterback. And he gets past that marker and picks up a first down. He'll pass on first down. Looking downfield, rolling out to his left. Gets the pass off, and the catch is made. McNabb was able to escape the rush and delivers a perfect pass on the run. That's one of those things that's tough to game plan for. You have to try and keep him stationary, keep him in the pocket. When you let him run around like that and pick his targets, he can really carve up a defense. McNabb with split backs, throwing on first down. Rolls right, throws on the move. Incomplete pass. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. The Eagles line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Closing in, great defensive play. He just recorded his first sack. Ball on their own 30. And this is the fifth play of this drive. So about three minutes left. Looking downfield, throws it. Going long, but he couldn't find his man downfield, and now they'll face a fourth down. Six. 
Johnson will come into this game to punt. Here's the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. So they have first and ten here. Come out of the nickel. DeLone with a man in motion. Pass play here on first down. With the pass. And the catch is made. Across midfield. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Rasim Muhammad is in there for the touchdown. Casey comes in for the extra point. The kick is up. The point after is good. Starting to get into the groove. That's 14 consecutive points. It sure seems like they figured out the best way to move the ball against this defense. Booming kick downfield. The kick sails out of the end zone. Great kick, John. He's proven he can get the job done on kickoffs. Wow, he got a lot of leg into that kick. They should have put the field goal net up for that one. Jill, anything new from the sideline? The trainer gave me some good news. He did sustain an injury, but it does not appear to be anything serious. His return is probable. All right, Jill, thank you for the update. With the throw. This pass is incomplete. He read the single coverage and went for it all on first down. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Looking for a receiver. Scrambling. Under pressure. And he ducks out of bounds at the 22. Gain of two on the play. Two-minute warning coming up. The Panthers come out in a nickel package. Off his back foot. Drops down and makes the catch. It's caught, but the defense stops him, and so it'll be fourth down. And that's what you need on a third down play. Make sure that he doesn't get the first down. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Here's the kick. From the 32. He didn't have much to work with, but still got away a decent return. They'd like to add a few more points to this lead, but we'll need to do a good job with clock management. Defense lines up in the nickel. Going to the air on first down. Throwing on the money. Semino records the stop at the 49. Perfect pass. Great catch. And that'll move the chains. First and 10. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. Gets the pass off. Interception. Shepard has that one picked off. The ball and the defender and the receiver all got there at the same time. That's not a bad throw. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. The Panthers come out of the nickel pack. They'll try the reverse. Great play in the backfield. That play wasn't going anywhere except backward. I'll tell you, sometimes the back needs to know when to just go down because he's trying to make something happen that's not going to happen and they end up losing a bunch of yards. Second and long coming up here. Come on now. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Rolling left. Gets rid of it. And he hits his target. Dives and brings him down at the 48-yard line. They'll go with a hurry-up offense. Nab with a man in motion. 
Throwing on first down. Surveying the field. Throws on the run. He finds his man. Freddie Mitchell gets hammered as soon as he makes the catch. Let's see how this defense handles the no huddle. Mitchell, the motion man. Dropping back. Looking for an option. Rolling left. Gets the pass off. Incomplete. Pretty good coverage downfield as the pass falls incomplete. He had some room out in front of him to scramble out of the pocket and pick up a few yards. Maybe he should have done that. The defense has to think run here because the offense has timeouts and won't be afraid to put this one on the ground to try and get the first. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. McNabb with a man in motion. Pressure coming. Looking for a receiver. Throwing. Manning makes the tackle at the 39. Owens can't get past the markers, so it'll bring up fourth down. They have to get it to the 38-yard line to keep possession of the ball. It's fourth down here. To keep the offense on the field here, aggressive play calling. Gets rid of it. A lot of space in front. At the 30. Gamble with the stop. At the 23. Now watch how they get out of a jam. They're looking at a fourth and long situation here. And they call the perfect play at the perfect time. He makes one heck of a throw. And he gets it past the marker to keep him going. Everything had to work on that one. And everything did. There's a flag on the play. The team has to show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, they'll find it's much harder to overcome the other team and get a win. And this should be the last play of the half. He sees something in the defense. Only one man back. He's looking, getting some air under this one, looking for his man deep. Caught. T.O. is in there for the touchdown. The kicker lines up for the point after. It's up, and he taps on the extra point. Well, go to the like locker to room that. with the like score even. Offense. Philadelphia, 14. Carolina, 14. Let's get back to the play on the field. So at halftime now, over, let's take a look at how both teams performed in the first half. They'll return this one. From the nine-yard line to the 20. The Eagles will start the drive from the 24. First and 10. The Panthers come out in a dime package. Dropping back to pass on first down. On the run. Right to him. Nice read. Finding the receiver who is in single coverage. Jill Arrington with some news from the locker room. I asked Coach Reed about any halftime adjustments. He told me that he talked to his team about the importance of concentration in the second half. He told them that he and the coaching staff would support them with good play calling, but it was up to them to execute. All right, Jill, thank you for the update. Nickelback in this time. McNabb sends a man in motion. Surveying the field. Rolling left. He finds his man. He gets the pass away for a small game. Second down. Good play right there. The defenders forced him to make a move that would get him nowhere. 
They have to reach the 41 to convert. The Eagles come out with four wide receivers lined up tight. Pressure, looking downfield, on the move. Manning makes the play at the 38. McNabb has been perfect on this drive. Yeah, what happens, you get into a rhythm. The way this guy's throwing, he's going to stay in that rhythm until the defense knocks him out of it. First and ten. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. On the call. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. Westbrook didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. They have to get to the 28 to convert for the first down. They come out of the nickel. He surveys the field, throws on the move, and the catch is made. Mentor records the stop at the 24. A powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. It's first and ten. Westbrook, the lone back. Pass play here on first down. Rolling right. Throwing on the run. Almost intercepted. Almost a big turnover. I'll tell you, he did almost everything right on that one. He was able to read the quarterback's eyes. He got himself in good position to make the interception. When it got to him, just bounced off his hand. Seventh play of this drive. Mitchell moves in motion. Looking for a receiver. Rolls out to his left. And growing. He just can't find a way to bring that one in. He should have caught that one. That's the old rule. If you get your hands on it, you got to catch it. Eighth play of this drive. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Third down conversions are usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing. It means that your offense is making big plays when they need them. Buying time. Closing in. He's going to run it. Diving. Tackle to bring him down. So this field goal attempt will be from about 33 yards away. And it's on its way. No doubt about that one. Turnovers have now led to 17 points on the board, John. Yep. Those mistakes on offense have really killed them on this one. He sends it off. This kick goes out of bounds. And there's a flag on the play. The return team very happy about that kickoff. They don't have to get hit, and they get great field position. It's first and ten. They're having no success running on first down. That's why they're losing. You've got to be able to get yards on first down. Walker makes the tackle at the 43. Pulled down after a minimal game. They just manhandled him at the line of scrimmage. I always say that if you win the battle in the trenches, it's going to go a long way towards your winning the game. Under pressure, gets rid of it. The 50, the 40, the 30, the 20. The 10. Steve Smith is in there for the score. Big blitz that time, John, but he was able to get it away, and it goes for six. Tremendous. That's the chance you take. It's one of those high-risk, high-reward kind of things. The line gave him just enough time. He makes a pretty good throw, and it goes for a touchdown. Great play. The point after is good. The Panthers leading in the game, but not by much.
The Panthers are set to kick it deep. And he got all of that one. A great kick. They'll start this drive with the 20 after downing the kick in the end zone. So they have first and 10 here. Carolina comes out in their nickel pack. Drops back. He's looking with the pass. The pass falls incomplete. Witherspoon got up and knocked that pass away. He has a great feel for defending the pass. And he always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Throws this one off balance. Hawkins stops him at the 26. Number 80 makes the catch but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry and they don't miss tackle. A little over four to go. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Looking downfield, guns it over the middle. It's going the other way. Obviously looking for them to go to the air. The defense was right in position to intercept that throw. Great play, great execution. Now that's what defense is all about. They can't get it done on the ground on first down, John, but they're still leading in this one. Some teams manage to get by pretty well without a solid running game. And that's mostly because their passing game is very effective, especially their short passing game. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. Give it to the halfback. Dawkins takes him down at the 17. That'll be a first down as he pulled his way forward through a couple of would-be tacklers. He was running with extreme focus and determination because he knew how far he had to get. He wasn't about to take a loss on the play. Seidman, the man in motion. He'll get the call again. He just unloaded on it. Boom. Now that is what football's all about. John is still trying to move the ball on the ground. This is a tough physical team that likes to run the ball in just about any situation. When you can run the ball consistently, it really wears down the interior line and helps to slow down those pass rushes. Davis in the backfield. Pressure coming. Wraps him up and brings him down. An exciting game so far as we head to the fourth quarter with the score. Carolina, 21. Philadelphia, 17. The Panthers are in field goal range as we get set for the start of the fourth quarter. Fifth play of this drive. Inside enemy territory. off to the back he's inside the tent Dawkins makes the play at the five take a look at this he gets himself into position keeps his legs under him and then boom he just unloads now that's a depleter Mangum goes in motion Pressure doesn't get much behind it. Dives and brings him down. Sideman picks up about four yards on that reception. The ball almost on the goal line, less than a yard away. The Eagles come out on the 46. They give it to the halfback. Touchdown, Panthers. That's exactly why you have to stay with your assignment. Look here. He's in good position to make a play. But he overruns it, and he tries to make an arm tackle, allowing him to break free and rumble in for the score. The kick is up. 
and he tacks on the extra point. Now they've put it together offensively with 14 unanswered points. They have a lot of talent on the offensive side of the ball. Scoring runs like this aren't all that unusual for him. He got all of that one. From the one. The Eagles will start the drive from the 20. First and ten. Westbrook, the lone back, throwing on first down. Looking for a receiver. Rolls right. Closing in. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. The 40. Manning makes the play at the 45-yard line. Big time play. I think. The thing is, he got some separation there, and he was able to get him a big chunk of yards. So they have first and ten here. Give it to the halfback. Witherspoon is the guy who's there to bring him down. At the 50-yard line, good game for the offense here in the second half. This is one of those guys who seems to play better as the game goes on. The more he gets the ball, the better he does. So I'd expect to see him get quite a few touches here as the game winds down. Westbrook, the lone back, dropping back, throws it. He hits his receiver. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. Looks like they'll go with a hurry up here. Set. Hey. He's looking. Rolling right. On the move. And it's complete. The 10. Seahorn makes the stop at the 5. Five more yards to get it into the end zone. Westbrook, the lone back, on the run, and he fails to hang on to that. He dropped. You got so much stuff going on out there. You got to get off the line. You got to run a good route. You have to read the defense. You got to get open. But the most important thing you do after all that is you have to catch the ball. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Looking downfield, firing a ball into the end zone. Todd Pinkston is in there for the touchdown. The kicker lines up for the point after. And it's up. And the extra point is good. The defense has done a great job. Turnovers have resulted there in 17 points. And that's the kind of but thing that a good team will do to you. If you look at a really good team in the NFL, you'll see that most of them force more turnovers than they give up. And the key to making those turnovers count is turning them into points. Booming kick downfield. From the three yard line to the 20. Defensively tired, sluggish on the last series. So we have first and 10 here. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. To the halfback, Hurst makes the stop at the 21 yard line. Philadelphia calls a timeout. They have two remaining. It's second down and nine to go. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. Again with the carry. Dawkins makes the play at the 24-yard line. Game 
third and seven. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. Foster. Wayne makes the stop at the 24. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. Here's the punt. From the 40. I'll bet you he'll call for a fair catch the next time. Sometimes you think you've got some room for a return, and the next thing you know, you've got a bunch of guys in your face. So they have first and ten here. Only one man in the backfield. He'll pass on first down. Throws it, and the catch is made. McNabb makes a lot of great throws while he's on the run. Yeah, he does. When you have a good athlete behind center, it gives you a lot more options on offense. You can roll out, you can bootleg, you can scramble, and that forces the defense to stay at home a little bit more and watch to see how these plays are developing. Second and short of coming after a good pickup through the air. Right here is one of those situations where you can pretty much open up the whole playbook. You can go with a play fake and look for something deep, or you can just run the ball. Just about anything is an option. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. to reach the 33 to convert. Only one man in the backfield. Directing traffic. Goes over the middle. This one falls incomplete. <laughs> you gotta love this type of football. A close game and a big play coming up with the crowd going wild. This is what it's all about. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. Good read, finding the single coverage in the secondary. He's calling everyone up to the line of scrimmage. Mitchell, the man in motion. Going to the air on first down. Looking for an option. Rolling left. Gets rid of it. And he makes the grab. So they get two first downs on their last two plays. They're getting it done by seeing the whole field and taking what the defense gives them. They need 10 for the touchdown. Changing the play now. They got into the end zone in their last red zone trip. If they can duplicate that, they'll take the lead. Mitchell in motion. Drops back. He's looking with the throw, and he makes no. He can't hold it in. There's still plenty of time for them, and they're right there, too. If they can sneak their back out into the flat here, he might be able to make the catch and give them the score. Seventh play of this drive. The Panthers come out in a nickel package. Looking downfield, rolls right, throwing on the run. Incomplete. This is where your back is a great option. If they see a blitz coming, then they keep him in the block or swing him out. If no one can get to him in time, it's a touchdown. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Eagle, Eagle. The Panthers come out in a nickel package. Looking for an option, rolling out to his right. Throws on the run. This pass is incomplete. When you're this far back and you need something in a hurry, I just throw one up there and hope one of my guys can come down with it. Drive. 
The Panthers line up in the quarter defense. He surveys the field, throws on the move. Freddie Mitchell is in there for the score. It looks like they could have run that one in if they wanted to. That's not usually the kind of defensive play that you expect to see down near the goal line. But they guessed pass, and they guessed right. They just couldn't execute. Akers comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up. The point after is good. That's 14 unanswered points. These guys are really starting to get the momentum going in their favor. The Eagles are lined up for the kickoff. And he got all of that one. A great kick. The offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive, going three and out. They got some time, but they need to get out of bounds to get to about the 35 to give their kicker a chance. So they have first and ten here. Davis, the lone back. With the throw, and it's intercepted. The 20. Nice play, reaching in front of the receiver to pick it off. That's a case of a quarterback simply not seeing a defender, which happens sometimes when the defender is playing up in his zone, covering the flats. I think their best bet here is to run it with a simple handoff. You just never know what could happen on a toss play. Witherspoon makes the stop at the six-yard line. Gain of four. We're nearing the end here. And they figure to go with a running play to keep this clock winding down. Set, hut. Looking upfield. Peppers makes the tackle at the four yard line. Four more yards to the end zone. And he'll get the call. Brian Westbrook is in there for the score. He just got it across the goal line. Yep, he just lowered his shoulders and got the short yardage that they needed. Akers comes in for the extra point. And it's on its way and the extra point is good now that's 24 points that have resulted from turnovers and the coach couldn't be happier these guys are really doing their job out there nice kick and returnable from the 10 yard line the defensive unit forced an interception the last time they were on the field. It's first and ten. The Eagles come out in a dime package. Under pressure, the pass ball's incomplete. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. you got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly... You have to keep the chains moving. The Eagles come out in a dime package. Throws it behind him. He has it. The 40. Big hit there. He was run over by a truck. Yeah, two-ton truck pulling a trailer. This is a great block. Watch here. He just barrels into the defender, taking him right off the turf. Now that is a textbook block right there. Throwing on first down. Pressure coming. Unleashes the deep pull. Almost got it. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air, but it might be a little too late. Empty, empty. Come on. Come deep. Set. Hup. 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 Wide, wide. With the throw, he made the catch. Smith uses his great speed to get down the field and move the sticks. Yeah, and the quarterback showed great touch on that pass. It shows how much these two guys work in practice and their timing 
That sure was one pretty play. And the clock runs out. The final score is Philadelphia 38, Carolina 28. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. Well, that's the uh, today's game, but unfortunately we lo lose McNab McNabbin for two weeks with an MCL sprain, but offensively, we finally showed up. Um, it's the first time we ever had any kind of run, like, yards at all in any game. Um, it helped that our passing game was working, so they sunk back a little bit, and it helped our uh, it helped out our running game in the end. So we actually played better. But like I said, without McNabb for a couple weeks, this could be. I mean, I don't know if it, like one of the two weeks includes this week, so maybe he's only gone one game. Um, but we're gonna have to see what what we do here. Until next time, this is David B sixty nine.